If you've seen the movie Anaconda, then you have learned to have a healthy respect or downright pure fear of the Queen of the Snakes. And nowadays, their cousins, the Pythons, are expanding their territory in the world, traveling to places like Florida and making their homes there. But rest assured, there are many animals that can take out the giant snakes. From an electric fish to human's best companion, here are 15 animals that could defeat a python. Number 15. Leopards can defeat pythons. Both pythons and leopards are extremely gifted predators, so can a leopard defeat a python? African rock pythons are the biggest types of pythons in Africa. They can reach 200 pounds when they're fully grown. But on average, pythons are 100 pounds, and that's when they are most vulnerable to the leopards. An 80-pound leopard can easily defend itself from a python. And not only that, but they seem to actually play with the reptiles. Pythons try to constrict their bodies around the big cats, but they're able to jump around and bite the snake's head, incapacitating and weakening them. It's not unheard of for a leopard to target a python to defeat it, starting with biting their heads. The cats feel so at ease and far from danger, they even sit back and enjoy watching the big snake struggle. Although, when the pythons reach their fully grown size, no leopard would dare take in the chance of messing with them. It seems like the leopards know exactly which ones they can defeat, and they often go for it either on their own or with the help of other leopards. Pythons are not the leopard's favorite snack by any means, but they don't seem to mind a taste from time to time. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Lion Attacks Python Lions are very majestic big cats. The males can reach up to 500 pounds and the females 330 pounds. Although they spend an average of 18 hours sleeping a day, make no mistake, lions are very advanced predators and their bodies are literally pure muscle. They also like to hunt in prides, which makes them very hard to get away from. <laughs> Even the almighty python can't put a fight up against the lions. Pythons are not poisonous snakes, they are constrictor snakes, which means they have to manage to wrap themselves around their prey to break all of their bones to kill it. Then they dislocate their jaws to swallow the animal whole. And that's when the python is the most vulnerable, when it's slowed down by digestion and is a much bigger target. In the case of lions, they are far too strong for a python, and lions commonly attack recently fed pythons almost like getting a kinder surprise meal. You get a snake and whatever whatever's inside it. Pythons often eat lion cubs, but against an entire pride of lionesses or a single male lion, there is no battle. The lions always win, without exception. Number 13. Alligator vs. Python Alligators and pythons share the same habitat in the Everglades National Park in Florida, and they often knock heads together. They are both at the top of the food chain, and the battles are usually a 50-50 chance. It's almost like they're fighting for the ultimate reptile superiority. Gators are on average 13 feet long and weigh 800 pounds, but the biggest one ever seen was 17 feet 5 inches. Now that's a big lizard. Do you think a python could defeat that monster? Pythons can grow up to 19 feet long and are also a huge force to reckon with. A fight between a gator and a python is extremely violent and nerve-wracking because you just don't know who's gonna win until the last minute. They are both such perfect killing machines. It comes down to the battle between the strongest bite and jaw of the Everglades against the strongest constrictor power. But gators attack and often defeat pythons. Given that they eat whatever crosses their path, why not a very big snake? They lock their jaws onto the snake, and then they thrash them violently from side to side to dismember the opponent in a single move. It is quite the display of great power. Number 12. 
Python versus Honey Badger. Honey badgers don't look it, but they are extremely vicious and aggressive creatures. Despite their name, there is nothing sweet about them. They are very fast runners, and they have very sharp claws that can sink into the thickest skin. In an unprecedented video from Botswana, we can see the extraordinary three-way fight between an African python, a honey badger, and two jackals. It was like a Mexican standoff of the savannah. Who do you think will emerge victorious? At first, the massive snake fights back desperately, and she has the honey badger in between her powerful muscle rings. But the honey badger fights back and breaks free, injuring the python. But soon after, two hungry jackals appear on the scene, and now it's every man for himself. Everybody wants to eat everybody, and it's a fight for life. Finally, the python succumbs to her three adversaries, and now the survivors have to fight for the carcass of the snake. It's two against one. But the viciousness of the honey badger makes the jackals run away in fear while he drags his prey under the bushes. The jackals still want to try and steal the dead snake from the badger, but they do so very carefully. With one claw movement, they can get seriously injured and become dessert. So they finally give up and leave the badger to eat his meal by himself. Number 11. Tiger vs. Python Pythons can eat whole preys much larger than themselves. That's because of the stretchy nature of their body. But do you think they could defeat a tiger? The tiger has the advantage of his great speed and power, but the snakes are sneaky and pythons are incredibly strong. They can break every single one of the bones in your body in a matter of minutes. In the water, the python has the higher ground because it's much faster and in her own element. So the tiger has to manage to drag the snake out of the water by the tail. But once on dry land, the fight is still an uncertain business. The snake's skin is extremely thick, and the tiger can't easily pierce through it, even with his sharp, saber-like teeth. And if the python gets in the right position to suffocate him, he is done for. They both have everything to win and everything to lose. They both have very different ways of killing, and they can overlap. So who is the strongest? Well, the truth is, tigers often win against pythons, even the biggest ones, but they don't tend to attack pythons only when they are truly desperate because they can also lose the battle and end up being the snake's snack. Number 10. King Cobra vs. Python What would happen if the longest venomous snake in the world fought against the longest and strongest snake in the world? It's like Einstein's paradox of an unmovable object meeting an unstoppable force. Nobody knows what would happen. But in the case of the snakes, who do you think would win? The venomous king cobra who has one of the most lethal poisons in the world, or the reticulated python who is unimaginably strong? <laughs> They are both apex predators. The battle is tight. What happens is a draw to the death. Both snakes fight relentlessly, but they both manage to defeat the other one simultaneously. And now they will forever be in a deadly entwined embrace. While the python managed to constrict around the king cobra, strangling it to death, the latter managed to bite the python by the neck, injecting her deadly poison to the former. And so they both died at the same time at the hands of the other. It was mutually assured destruction. King cobras specialize in hunting other snakes, contrary to the python who eats mainly mammals. So it's believed that the cobra attacked first but to his surprise, he wasn't so much the king as he thought he was, as they both met their match. Number 9. Eagle Attacks vs. Giant Python We all know that eagles are magnificent apex predators, but did you know they're very close relatives of the dinosaurs and they've kept lots of their physical traits and also the unparalleled killer instinct? With a wingspan of 7.5 feet, they consume a great variety of prey, but they specialize in killing snakes for food. The phrase, having an eagle's eye, doesn't come from nothing. These birds of prey can spot their hunt from a great distance high up in the sky, and then they plummet down at a mind-blowing speed and grab the unsuspecting animal with their extremely strong and sharp claws. 
So who do you think would win between a bald eagle and a giant python? Well, the eagle has the higher ground with its ability to fly, but it would only get one shot at the deadly snake. Because if it misses its opportunity, it might end up being food itself. The mighty python, even with its extraordinary power, is not a very fast creature, in particular after feeding. So that's when the eagle would seize its chance. The eagle can rip through the snake's abdomen and literally start eating its entrails while the snake is still alive. Number 8. Bees vs. Python If I asked you who do you think would win, a python or a group of bees, you would probably laugh in my face. But what if I tell you the bees are no ordinary bees, but the infamous killer bees? These African killer bees are known to attack big animals like dogs and even horses, and killing them without a problem. Both the bees and the python share their habitat in Florida, but they are both invasive species from different parts of the world. So the recent footage of a group of killer bees attacking a python has never been seen before because they never had the chance to meet until now. The bees found a large female python nesting her eggs. Now, anybody that cares about their life would be wise to leave a mother python alone, but not the killer bees. They cover the snake by the thousands, each of them stinging all at the same time, and with each bite injecting more doses of venom, making the snake weaker and weaker until she succumbs to her vicious rivals and dies trying to protect her eggs. It's a very slow death, but a sure death by numbers. And there is nothing to do to avoid it. Nothing at all. Number 7. Crow vs. Python Crows are exceptionally intelligent animals. They are actually considered one of the smartest animals on Earth. They can easily solve trigonometry problems, they can remember a human face and hold a grudge for years, and they are excellent thieves. They could probably do your homework for you. It's no coincidence that they are thought to be a bad omen everywhere in the world, because they are scary smart. They have a very sophisticated way of communicating. Scientists even say they have regional dialects. And they use this ability to fight off predators by ganging up on them in a perfectly synchronized attack. They hit one after the other, almost like a dance of death. And because they seem to like shiny objects, they go straight for the eyes when they attack. So if a murder of crows, yeah, that's what a group of crows is called, decided to fight off a python, they would rip out its eyes first, completely incapacitating the serpent. Crows will eat anything from crops to bloody carcasses, but if they see a slithering meaty snake, they wouldn't hesitate to pounce down. They seem to have developed a real taste for snake meat, so a python wouldn't have a chance. Number 6. Hyena vs. Python In 2010, there was a terrible drought in Kenya, and it drove some animals mad from starvation. A group of hyenas in particular. The drought killed a big percentage of their prey, so there was nothing to eat for a long time. So guess what? Bordering on desperation, they decided to attack a 12-foot-long python in a never-before-seen act of nature. The hyenas were trying to bite the back end of the snake, and in response, the snake would respond with a violent attempt to bite their nose in a miserable act of defense. From time to time, the snake would get one of the hyenas and sink her fangs into their face. But by far outnumbering the snake, the hyenas would counterattack in classic pack hunting behavior. Finally, after an immense number of bite wounds and a colossal amount of hopeless effort, the python was trying to escape when the hyenas started eating her tail when she was still alive. Soon after, a group of jackals joined the dinner party, and it was game over for the giant snake. Number 5. Komodo Dragon vs. Python So what do we know about Komodo Dragons, the most beautiful giant lizard still walking on this earth? Well, we know that the Komodo Dragons are the biggest and heaviest lizards on the planet. They are extremely dangerous and short-tempered, can grow up to 10 feet long, and weigh up to 330 pounds. That is far from the average gecko that you see on your porch. Against common misconception, they are highly skilled carnivorous predators that can run incredibly fast. They are the highest point of the food chain on the island they live, and even the local people are terrified of them. 
they can rip off a grown man's arm in a single bite. One, two punches are often used in the boxing world, but the Komodo uses its teeth, not hands, for a one-two combination that, delivered with a venomous bite, can kill any of its hunt. If the mighty python ever slid into the Komodo's territory, little would they know that they would not be sliding out alive. As quick as Muhammad Ali, the one-two bite would make quick work of the python to provide the Komodo with a tasty meal of lunch, breakfast, or dinner. Number 4. Falcon vs. Python Maybe it's difficult to imagine, but what if a falcon came across a baby python? Pythons, whether big or small, are still a very threatening reptile in the animal kingdom. However, a falcon may also be small, but its hunting instinct and speed could pose a very dangerous threat to the powerful python. Falcons eat snakes all the time, any time of day, any time they or their young are hungry. Coming from the same family as the eagle, its skills are very similar. The falcon could dive down and snare its prey by clawing the python's head and throat in order to restrict its breathing while eating its entrails alive. However, if the falcon miscalculates its attack, it is him that will find himself being restricted while the python constricts the falcon until ultimately the sheer strength of the stronghold snaps their wings and the hunter has become the hunted. It's a 50-50 chance, so who would you put your money on? I'd take the falcon. If they miss on the first chance, they could always just scoop the baby python with its claws and soar into the sky, only to drop the python to its death before turning around and picking it up for dinner. Number 3. Ape vs. Python We've all seen Planet of the Apes, it was the apes against the humans. But that was Hollywood. Back in the animal kingdom, there's a very good chance our cousin the gorilla could take out a python. Gorillas are huge primates. They are, in fact, the largest on Earth by far. They weigh, on average, 252 pounds and can run as fast as 25 miles per hour. They are herbivorous creatures, which means they only eat plants. But if a python would ever dare to attack the magnificent primate, a mix of defense and anger could stir up a powerful response. The python counts on its powerful constrictive attack, on its ability to dislocate its jaw and swallow its prey whole, starting with its head. They basically kill you by sheer force, strangling you, and at the same time, breaking every single bone in your body. But we're talking about the great ape here. Imagine Imagine the strength in the fearsome hands of the gorilla. They could literally grab the python's neck and destroy the serpent's head or choke it to death before it had any chance of even trying to consume the huge ape. You can't go against opposable thumbs. Number 2. Electric Eel vs. Python Eels are far smaller than pythons and far less strong, but they have a hidden weapon that will shock you. Electricity. Electric eels come from South America and grow up to 8 feet long. They don't look very dangerous, but they can generate an electrical charge of 600 volts. At such a high voltage, an electric eel could cause damage to a grown man's internal organs. They can cause a heart attack in a single discharge. They're also equipped with a natural radar so they can emit low voltage to locate prey around them with an extremely high precision. Eels have in their bodies 6,000 special cells made to store power, just like thousands of little batteries. This makes their organs to also be electric. And when the eel wants to hunt or feels threatened, all 6,000 cells discharge power at the same time. The python, as strong as he is, can't fight against electrocution. She wouldn't even get a chance of starting her attack technique. She would instantly receive 600 volts, rendering her completely unconscious. There's also the fact that pythons breathe air, so the eels can stun the serpent and drag it underwater until it drowns. And then it's lunchtime. Number 1. Dog vs. Python do you have a dog? If you do, after this video, you will feel a little differently about your dog. If a dog is properly trained, there isn't much they can't do. They're smart, 
fast, strong, loyal, and enthusiastic. I mean, we choose our best friends well. We've all seen police dogs, therapy dogs, herding dogs, but have you ever heard of python hunting dogs? They exist, and closer than you think, right here in the US. In the Everglades, where pythons have become a plague and they put the ecosystem in danger, they use dogs to track them down and take them out. <coughs> They mainly use golden retrievers, and they are scary good at their job, too. They train for a month, learning how to pick up the serpent scent, and then they go out into the reserve with their handlers to go hunt pythons, literally. They learn to stay three feet away to assess the situation and to wait until their human catches up. Pythons can be very dangerous, even to a highly skilled dog, so the humans and the dogs work as a team or a pack to deal with the python problem in the Everglades. So apparently, sheer force of nature can sometimes be overcome by other kinds of strength. Which one of these animals would you choose to be if you had to fight against a python? Do you know of any other ones that could defeat a python? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.